Some bad news, good news at stop number eight on News 25's 25 teams in 25 days. The bad news, it started raining about five minutes into Pascagoula's practice, so we didn't get very much video. The good news, it started raining after the Panthers took their team pictures. All that being said, they're not letting anything rain on their parade heading into 2022. 25 teams in 25 days. Brought to you by champion Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Some people call it the Chevron effect. Some people say it's because we're so close to the beach here. But we don't get a whole lot of rain. We, it goes around us usually, and the kids make fun of it. And they say, I control the weather. The Panthers controlling what they can control on Team Picture Day. The very same approach that got them through a 4-7 and seven season in 2021 after making it all the way to the 5A South State Championship game in 2020. We started off kind of bad, but at the end of the season, you know, um, we just had to show people that like we're not going to give up. We're going to keep pushing and keep going to just show people that, you know, we're not bad. We're actually a good team. You know, we just had a lot of miscommunications on the field. And, you know, we just had to show people that we could bounce back from those L's and, you know, take a couple dubs. Pascagoula starting 0-4 in Region 4 Class 6A games, including a pair of two-point losses on the road. We lost to Diaverville and Harrison Central both by only two points. Like, we, we needed that much more just to beat those teams, and we could have been in the playoffs. But it was too little too late. The Panthers digging their own grave, only to rip off three straight dubs to end their tale of two seasons, making them one of just two teams from the six coastal counties to string together multiple wins to finish out the year, the other being 5A state champion. Picky you. We responded well. We just jailed a little too late. But um, I feel like our team is ready to compete with anybody on the coast now. Coach told us, like, we have to win these three games. You know, our mindset changed. You know, we didn't want the seniors last year to go out, you know, with three losses. You know, we want to at least close to a winning record. Just why not us? I said, you know, we, we dipped our foot into the 6A waters. We know that we can compete. Now why not us? This year's team asking that same question, led by 17 seniors and at least 12 returning starters, including Mississippi State baseball commit and four-year starting quarterback Keelan Parnell, who accounted for more than 1,500 total yards and 18 total touchdowns as a junior. And when I say quarterback, I mean quarterback, running back, wide receiver, slot receiver, safety, and heck, head coach Lewis Sims even says to expect some three QB sets this season. You know, if we asked that kid to play guard, he'd say, just change my number, coach. Uh, he, he's that type of guy. Can't tackle him in a phone booth. He's been like this since we played it. We've been playing together since Pee Wee. I try not to let nobody tackle me. I don't like getting tackled. You know, so that's that's my main goal. You know, as in growing up, as in playing, uh, what's it called? Picking up and running. Like he said, can't tackle him in the phone booth. One of the guys chasing around the phone booth specialist, junior four star defensive lineman Jeffrey Rush Jr. Other guys giving the defense fits. Sophomore quarterback Silas Quarter, junior running back Cameron DeFlanders, and senior wide receiver Corian Evans. If that last name sounds familiar, it should. The 16 year old Evans less than a month removed from jumping in the Pascagoula River to help rescue three girls as well as a Moss Point police officer. Courage is calling. You know, what, what do you do when courage is called upon? And if you find yourself in a situation, make sure, as Winston Churchill once said, that you are willing and prepared when opportunity arises. And he was willing and he was prepared to take advantage of that opportunity to help those people out. I mean, he is the epitome of the war face mentality and shows what kind of character he has. There's a character around your teammates, coaches, your character on the field, sideline, when you're not in the game, what you're doing, when you're in the game, what you're doing. So I feel like a lot of that, like we're, we're most definitely further mindset-wise because we know what we need to do this year. Just to recap, Warface standing for work, accountability, respect, family, attitude, character, and enthusiasm. The 2022 version of the Pascagoula Panthers wanting to be remembered for all seven. Hopefully we just we can get back to to the playoffs and win state this year. It's my senior year. It's, it's weird to say, but it's my senior year. I got to leave a legacy. We want to leave a legacy behind knowing that we want to set the standard for the younger generation that's coming up. 2022 Panther football is, um, they're focused, uh, they are family, and they respect the game and everything that they do. And a positive update on Coach Sims's wife, if you remember the story from last year, Amber Colville, now cancer-free and living her best life. The Panthers kick off the new year against ye old rival Moss Point on August 26th.